Psalm 10, the cry of the oppressed. Lord, you seem so far away. Why do you stand so far off as though you don't care? Why have you hidden yourself when I need you the most? All this time, the arrogant in their elitist pride erupt with persecution against the poor and helpless. May you pour out upon them the very evil they've planned against others. How they brag and boast of their cravings, exalting the greedy. They congratulate themselves as they despise God. These arrogant ones, so smug and secure, in their plots and plans, they reassure themselves by saying, There is no God. There is no need of Him. There is nothing to worry about. Our wealth will last for all time. So seemingly successful are they in their schemes, prosperous in all their plans and scoffing at any restraint. Yet all this time they are unaware of His anger, not understanding that their day of judgment is ahead. The exalted God will deny, they deny, will soon declare their doom. They boast that neither God nor men will bring them down. They sneer at all their enemies saying in their hearts, we'll have success in all we do and never have to face trouble. Yet all the time, not knowing that they speak this in vain. Their mouths spout out cursing, lies, and threats. Only trouble and turmoil come from all their plans. Like lions lurking in the shadows of the city, they crouch silently in ambush for the people to pass by. They pounce on the poor and catch them in their snare. They murder their prey in secret. They plunder their victims, presuming them all as inferior. They crush the lowly, falling beneath their brutal blows as their victims collapse in defeat. Then they say to themselves, The lofty one is not watching while we do this. We can get away with it. Now is the time to arise, O Lord. Crush them. Once and for all, don't forget the forgotten and the helpless. How dare the wicked think that they will escape in their evil, believing that you would not call them to account for all their ways. Don't let the wicked get away with their contempt of you. Lord, I know you see all that they're doing, noting their each and every deed. You know the trouble and turmoil they've caused. Now punish them and thoroughly, thoroughly for all that they've done. The poor and helpless ones trust you, Lord, for you are famous for being the helper of the fatherless. I know you won't let them down. Break the power of the wicked and their arms for strength. Search them out and destroy them for the wickedness they have done. You, Lord, are king forever and ever. You will see all the nations perish from off your land. Lord, you know and understand all the hopes of the humble and will hear their cries and comfort their hearts, helping them all. The orphans and the oppressed will be terrified no longer. For you will bring them justice and no one will trouble them. Psalm 11. Song of the Steadfast for the Pure and Shining One by King David. Lord, you do, don't you hear what my well-meaning friends keep saying to me? Run away now and while you can, fly away like a bird and hide in the mountains for safety. For your enemies have prepared a trap for you. They plan to destroy you with their slander and deceitful lies. See them hiding in their place of darkness and shadows? They're set against you and all those who live upright lives. Run away. But don't they know, Lord, that I have made you my only hiding place? Don't they know that I always trust in you? What can the righteous accomplish 
when truth's pillars are destroyed and law and order collapses. Yet the Eternal One is never shaken. He is still found in His holy temple, reigning as Lord and King over all. He is closely watching everything that happens. And with a glance, His eyes examine every heart, for His heavenly rule will prevail over all. He will test both the righteous and the wicked, exposing each heart. God's very soul detests those who love to resort to violence. He will rain down upon them judgment for their sins. A scorching wind will be their portion and lot in life. But remember this, the righteous Lord loves what is right and just. Every godly one will come into his presence and gaze upon his face. Psalm 12 Song for the new day For the pure and shining one, a song of smiting Sung for the new day by King David Help, Lord! Save us! Godly ones are swiftly disappearing Where are the dependable, principled ones? They're a vanishing breed Everyone lies, everyone flatters, and everyone deceives Nothing but empty talk, smooth talk, double talk Where are the truthful? I know the Lord will not deal gently with people like that. You will destroy every proud liar who says, We will lie all we want. Our words are our weapons, and we won't be held accountable. Who can stop us? May the Lord cut off their twisted tongues and seal their lying lips. May they all be silenced, those that boast and brag with their champion talk about doing whatever they want. But the Lord says, Now I will arise. I will defend the poor who were plundered, the oppressed and needy who groaned for help. I will arise to rescue and protect them. For every promise God speaks is sure. Every word he speaks is pure. His truth is tested, found to be flawless and ever faithful. It's pure as sterling silver, refined seven times in a crucible of clay. Lord, you will keep us forever safe. Out of reach of the wicked, even though they strut and prowl, tolerating and celebrating what is worthless and vile, you will still lift up those who are yours. Psalm 13. Prayer turns depression into delight. For the pure and shining one by King David. How much longer, Lord, will you forget me forever? How much longer, Lord, will you look the other way when I'm in need? How much longer must I cling to this constant grief? I've endured this shaking of my soul. So how much longer shall my enemy have the upper hand? It's been long enough. Take a good look at me, God, and answer me. Breathe your life into my spirit. Bring light to my eyes in this pitch black darkness, or I will sleep the sleep of death. Don't let my enemy proclaim, I prevailed over him. For all my adversaries will celebrate when I fall. Lord, I have always trusted in your kindness. Answer me. I know you will not fail me now. I will yet celebrate with passion and joy when your salvation lifts me high. I will sing to you, the Most High, my song of joy, for in all of this you have strengthened my soul. My enemies say, I have no Savior, but I know that I have one in you. Psalm 14, God looks down from heaven for the pure and shining one by King David. Only the withered soul would say to himself, There is no God. Anyone who thinks like this is corrupt and calloused, depraved and detestable, devoid of what is good. The Lord looks down in love, bending over heaven's balcony, looking over all of Adam's sons and daughters. He is looking to see if there is anyone who is wise and has insight. 
anyone who is searching for him, wanting to please God. But no, everyone has wandered astray, walking stubbornly towards evil. Not one is good. He can't even find one. Look how they live in luxury while exploiting my people. Won't these workers of wickedness ever learn? They don't ever think of praying to God. But just look at them now in panic, trembling with terror. For the Lord is on the side of the generation of loyal lovers. The Lord is always the safest place for the poor. When the workers of wickedness oppress them, oh, I wish their time of rescue were already here and that God would appear, arising from the midst of his Zion people to save and restore his very own. Then what gladness and joy will break forth when the Lord rescues Israel.